this one. We fell in love with it, but it just. Today, the apartment hunting starts. Um, Albert booked, I think, six apartments for us to view today. One of the reasons why we want to move out is because, you know, I've been in this unit for two years. I just got to notice that the rent is going up by a few hundred dollars. So at that price point, we thought it might make sense to just look around the area and see what options we have. So all the units we're looking today are one bedroom. And ideally, they are bigger than my current apartment right now. This apartment right now is 750 square feet. I love this pants. I think this might be my favorite summer pants right now. All right, let's go. So there's the washer and dryer in there. I don't love the color of the floor. It's a bit dark. Yeah. Um, so this is a bedroom, which is decently big. And the thing about this unit is that it has a little den. But then there's no window, so I don't know. Yeah, it's I don't know what, what would you use it for? Yeah, it's kind of weird. It says it's like an office. But and the bathroom is nice, but it's nice. very long. It's very large. Yeah. I wish they optimized it for more space. To the second one? Yeah. So this one was pretty good. Except the living room is a little bit small because there's this hallway. This one is a lot brighter. Okay, th th this bathroom was this insane. Bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> I like this Double bathroom. sink. Oh, like so yeah, nice. Oh, it's a little bit too big though. Love the surrounding windows. Great view. Yeah. Very big bedroom. Of the two, this one's way better. Yeah. This one's like a new development. Um, it's... Um, it just it's currently being built it's gonna be finished the next month or so um we were just looking to compare between a rental versus potentially buying a place so this one's uh the model unit this is what it would look like hypothetically when it's finished very very nice modern appliances just a little small though yeah yeah they did optimize the space wall it's the same floor, floor plan but once it's uh, furnished it looks so nice Okay, this is the dream right here. This is like a two or three bedroom, it's like yep. a family home. So big. You guys don't even want to know how much this one costs. One day. One day. Hopefully. This is so big. <laughs> Wait. Okay, so this is another home that was actually for sale. This one's actually not bad. Maybe the wrong time to buy. I like the floor plan. Like it, it, it makes sense. They also redid the bathroom like last year, so it looks fairly, fairly new. I think someone bought this within a week. The same. Yeah. It's it's good. It's like ready to move in and everything. Like this one, we fell in love with it right when we walked in because the furnishing was so nice the color is so much nicer it has this like japanese zen vibe i also like how it's circular you can just walk through the whole thing yeah but i uh, imagine filming in the kitchen would be so nice but it just a little bit out of our budget so this one is a lot bigger than any of the apartments that we saw and bigger than one we have right now great view top down windows really big bedroom as well the only thing is like the finishing is a little bit old i remember like the kitchen is a little bit old yeah and the whole place just kind of smelled bad <laughs> which I, it's not really their fault but i could smell like cooking 
yeah. smells in the hallway and on the every floor. And the carpet on the hallway is kind of damp, moist. Kind of ruins the vibe. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna show you the one that we ended up signing and the one that we decided to move into. So here it is. Love the entire vibe. Like it's very clean, minimalistic. Love the floor. I love how the bathroom is outside of the, the bedroom so that, you know, I don't annoy you when I pee in the, at night. <laughs> bedroom is the same size as us right now. I just love this walk-in closet. And you can see the, there's a lot more sunlight than what I'm getting in this apartment right now. And I think my favorite part, do you want to talk about your favorite part? Like the kitchen? Favorite part. I don't have favorite do you have part. anything to say? Can you say something? Is there anything you want to say? I just think it's optimized really well. Most of the space is centered in the living room, which is great for entertaining. I also love this kitchen lighting. It looks so good, especially on camera too. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we decided on and can't wait to move in in September. All my vitamins, fish oil and calcium. All my makeup products. Ooh. So I'm gonna be in Taiwan for the next two weeks. I fly out tomorrow night. Um, and there are two main reasons why I'm going. One is that I'm going there to film like all the promotional materials, like the trailers, the photo shoots and everything for my online course. I also get to meet my team next week, which I'm so excited. I've been working with them for like almost six months now and they have been just so supportive and so great. And the second reason is that I really just wanted to take a quick vacation. The past few months, to be honest, I have been not doing so well mentally. Um, I'm not gonna go too deep into it, but mainly because like I um, tend to over push myself a lot, which is good, but I'm learning how to have a better balance in terms of, you know, okay, like working, but also at the same time relaxing and making sure I am taking, making sure I'm listening to my body and, you know, taking the time I need to relax and do the things that I enjoy. So I think this will be a fun trip. And on that note, I also want to thank Monos for sponsoring today's video again. Monos is a travel and lifestyle brand that offers timeless, high quality, and long lasting travel products. This time I checked out the hybrid check in large luggage and hybrid carry on plus in both the silver color. I love their minimalistic but classic design and colors, which can go with any occasion and will never go out of style. They're not loud and flashy, it simply speaks for itself. And of course, their quality never disappoints me. Both luggages are durable, light, and resilient all at once. Take the most desirable features of aluminum and polycarbonate luggage. I mentioned this last time too, but their ergonomic placement of the release button on the underside of the handle and high performance 360 spinner wheels are just convenient when I have to move quickly around the airport or anywhere. They even have not just one, but two TSA approved combination locks on each luggage, which really secure all my things I put in the luggage. And I'm a pretty heavy packer, especially when I go to Taiwan or Vietnam, because I just get a lot of stuff for my family. So for the people who for heavy packers like me, these hybrid check in large and hybrid carry on plus is a perfect combination. My flight from New York to Taiwan takes 16 hours. It's very long. So I also got Monos' Kyo UVC water bottle. This water bottle provides a sustainable and simple way to access clean, purified drinking water. Its UVC technology purifies drinking water, eradicating up to 99.99% of bacteria. And it has two purification modes, quick clean mode and deep clean mode. The battery lasts for one month with normal use and you can simply recharge by the USB-C. Of course, it is very portable and that way I don't need to worry about cleaning my water bottle during my long flight. Besides the luggages and the water bottle, Monos also has everyday bags, everyday wear, and other accessories made for the comfort of your travel. So if you're interested in Monos luggage, you can also use my link in the description box for 30% off site-wide with their early Black Friday sale. So this is my finished makeup look. This is my makeup artist. Her name is Wawa. 
。谢谢你，超美的。All right, I'm gonna go to the photo shoot now. What does it take to become a great business analyst in tech? Here are the three core skills you need. Problem solving skills, business sense, and data analytics. Hi, I'm Lillian, and I'm a business strategy and operations manager at Spotify. After having done hundreds of business analyses and presentations, I've created a step-by-step -step course on how to do a business analysis from end to end. Hi, I'm Lillian. 目前在纽约科技公司 Spotify 担任商业分析经理。我精心为你设计的学习辅助教材，提供 raw data 使用范本与常用工具、模板及简报等，配合课程中使用与实作练习，让你更扎实的学习。资料只有在能够发现问题时，才有真正的价值。这次，让我们一起学好商业分析，从改变思维、逻辑思考开始。Exactly a year ago, I started this online course project in October right. 2022. Well, I My goal today is finish building out the data set. Elbert and I started to brainstorm the course concept, and that was all we would talk about for multiple weekends. In November, I started writing the script, sharing all my tips and learnings, and I also built a data set from scratch because I want you to be able to analyze data yourself. Then in December, I wrote a full business plan for the course because I realized there's actually so many things involved in this operation. It's kind of like starting a little startup. In January, I started to film everything myself at my desk, researching on the camera equipment, the mics, the setups. Then in end of January, I started to film everything. I would spend every weekend for the next 24 weekends just talking to the camera. Your backend data might not be in the perfect format. Then doing all the quality control, organizing hundreds of audio and video files. In March, Albert and I began to look for business partners to help launch the course. My biggest weakness has always been negotiations, but Albert is insanely good at it. So he would prep me up on the call. I was telling Lillian, like, we're, we're on the, the client side here. Like, they had to pitch us, they had to bring us good ideas. It's up to us to reject them or challenge them. We're one minute late, but he said the part of the tactics is to join late to like power trip the others. And we'll practice like crazy before the call. Okay, so read this line here. That's your intro. Okay. Great to meet you. Yeah, Lil I'm Lillian. Um, I have my manager, Albert, who is my manager. He is, he'll be, and uh, who will be leading this call and I'll let him introduce himself. Why are you it's stripping? It's so bad. I don't no, I said this. you had Lillian here on the line. You oh. have Lillian here on the line. No, that, don't worry. I, I, I can't just do word for word. This is too, your style is not my style. Don't worry. What other questions do you have to ask? It was scary as hell speaking to all these companies and making a pitch for myself. Then we spent the next month finalizing the details of the contract. Getting ready to hop on a call with my lawyer. If there's anything I learned about, you know, starting a business or working on a partnership, working on a deal with another partner, get yourself a lawyer. At the end of the day, everyone is trying to protect themselves. So it's about making sure that the contract is a fair representation for both parties. Yeah. And every week for many weeks, we will review these contracts together on all the legal languages, liability, financial implications. In May, I started to work with a team of 10. It was my first time being a boss in my life, and I've learned a lot about leadership, how to be hands off, and to simply trust others to do their work. I am spending the whole day working on the editing. A special guest here. <laughs> This is Jaehee. She is my editor. All the sponsorship segments that you see, she did it. She's so good at what she does. We're editing on Premiere Pro and we already have the screen recording plus my camera overlay and then we're just going through the timeline. I think this one needs to come right a little bit like it's cutting up. Oh yeah. yeah. But I think it's just how it's recorded. Oh shit, really? So oh, rather it be a white background. Because it's oh, just okay. so cluttered. So I just, yeah. Maybe I'll just crop it. 
I learned that my job as a boss isn't to tell them how to do things, but how I can support them to do what they do best. Everything you see comes with countless hours of planning and strategy docs. This was our mission control where everything was organized from chapter to chapter. We also had a line group chat and I would wake up every morning with so many messages, but my Mandarin definitely got so good through these experiences. In September, we launched the course. And as of November 14th, Thank you to 5,283 of you who have enrolled in my class. Thank you for believing in me. I can't wait to see you all and I can't wait to grow with you all in my class. If there's anything I've learned from this past year, it's that we often overestimate how much we can do in a day, but underestimate how much you can do in a year. There's no easy path to success. I went through some of the most stressful moments in my life. I feel unwell. I feel like my gastritis is happening again or something. My head hurts. Dude, I'm so stressed. I think my anxiety is happening again. What do you think of? And I was so close to giving up. All right. I don't need to finish filming before I go to Taiwan. Like, who cares? It doesn't matter. Even though it was difficult, but I also was having a lot of fun. So, Find something you're passionate about, let that passion drive you, and have fun with it. finish moving for like 10 hours straight. I look terrible, but I want to show you what the empty apartment looks like. It's the last time that I'll walk into this apartment. Welcome to my empty home. So this is the entryway. And then in here, the entry closet, dryer, washer. This is where we used to put the coffee table. And this is where the living room is. Wow, I hear so much echo. There's no furniture here. And this is where my desk used to be. And this is where all my YouTube videos started. Exactly two years ago. And this is where our work works. In the tiny corner here. And this is our kitchen. We also scrub the bathtub. All my skincare behind this wall. Okay, now I'll show you the bedroom. Oh, there's no light right now. But um, I don't think you can see. This is where my bed used to be. This is where I do my makeup. This tiny little nook here. We also have a waffle closet. But the one we have right now is way bigger. See the sunset, it's 7 p.m. And I guess it's like the perfect way to end our era of this apartment. And yeah, I'll see you in my new apartment.